Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwash, and today we've got double unboxing, right? So uh, today in the evening, I've just met my buddy Mr. Juan Layton from Colombia. So he basically stayed here in Malaysia for about two years already, but he's working here. But yeah, still, I've met him through our Facebook group, and he I've <laughs> I've started to borrow his watches. Uh, the past two watches was the um, Oris TT 1000 meters diver and also the Seiko Samurai Paddy and this time around we've got two other watches that he lent he kindly lent to me uh, for review right so first up is this oh before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today I am wearing my um, Zilla Swordfish 40 millimeters in burgundy dial and it still looks awesome after one year and yeah I think Ah, this one uh, needs a you know one year review or something like that. But yeah, still let's get on to the yeah sort of unboxing. But yeah, maybe on more of an initial review, right? So first up is this Oris regulator, right? So you can see here that we've got a quite a unique dial. So this is the first time ever I've seen an Oris with a regulator dial. So we have this um, our hands our uh, dial on the three o'clock and we have this minute and a huge minute hands and we have that second hands on the nine o'clock right so quite a i don't know guys i've never seen a, a, an an always like this before so it's it's quite interesting right so let's do a quick dimension check on this one let's uh, measure it i believe it's 39 millimeters in diameter right right so 39 millimeters in diameter a look to look of about 49 millimeters huh quite quite long yeah right, so 49 millimeters and a thickness of just about i think this one looks like it is it is 12 millimeters so that's just nice and a lug width of um lug width of 20 millimeters so very very nice and a crown size of 7.6 millimeters so that is 7.5 millimeters so that is really really cool right so it's <laughs> quite interesting why i I've been following uh, Oris for quite some time. Yeah, I haven't got any uh, Oris yet, but uh, yeah, I've been following uh, Oris's Oris <laughs> Oris uh, models such as the Aquis, the the sorry, the Big Crown Pilot and everything. But I've never seen any regulator watch uh, from them. But yeah, so this is quite interesting, right? So it come on this uh, Oris uh, NATO strap, but I believe Mr. Juan may have cut his maybe this one is in double pass but yeah he cut it to make it a single pass i'm not really sure and yeah so we have this uh, fully brushed uh, fully brushed case with this uh, interesting looking bezel so let's check out the rotation huh i think that is a 60 click bezel right so there's no loom pick whatsoever but still very very nice uh, although a bit <laughs> difficult to grip uh bezel here so it has that um has that crown uh sorry a coin edge on this side and another coin edge looking at look at the aesthetic at the bottom side of the case and we have this uh, embossed uh, uh embossed embossed type uh bezel here bezel insert here you know maybe it is a fully male i'm not really sure maybe it is yeah i don't think this is an insert guy so it is a milled uh, style of uh, uh, of bezel right so on the dial we have this matte black uh, dial with a uh, printed or is automatic on to under 12 o'clock and uh, how, how many jewels this thing you know what let's just move that minute hands a bit yep 27 ju 27 jewels swiss made and and the, the date window oops the date window is at the six o'clock and we have this beautiful um minute track on the outs outer side of the dial and yeah i just love this <laughs> this uh, look on this uh on this oris right so at the back we have a, an oris an old vintage oris logo here with the shield uh, logo uh scratch proof hmm that's interesting scratch proof sapphire crystal oh okay <laughs> yeah i understand of course this one is featuring a, a sapphire crystal 
uh, old stainless steel to 7502 I have no idea what that is water resistance or is Swiss 200 meters right so I'm gonna be checking out the modern number for this particular piece but yeah if you guys know please do let me know in the comment section below right so on this let the not uh, little strap it weighs just about just about um okay so let's just put up there just about 82 grams so quite a you know what a nice uh, weight for a and oris right so of course we have sapphire crystal let's just uh, briefly check it out okay you know let's just right so that's good and of course we're going to be checking out the loom later together with that awesome thing from Sega design let's put it down here and let's do a quick unboxing right all right so yeah that's not really a drum roll okay so this one is uh, I've, of course I know what is inside this box but I just wanted to show you how this thing looks right uh, if you guys are buying this from Sega design whether it is from Aliexpress or from their Kickstarter I think this one they they have they have launched a Kickstarter uh, campaign for this particular piece uh, not, I'm not really sure but maybe it is maybe I'm correct on that one right so let's see wow this is a very very nice design right so box design I must say right so let's take it out of the sleeve right Ooh, wow Sega design mechanical watch X series great ape right so at the back of the watch uh, of the box there's no printing whatsoever maybe yep we have uh, printing here Sega design product name X series gorilla orange right so that is a model name Sega design mechanical watch X series gorilla orange right so let's <laughs> nice right so oh wow that oh, oh i forgot so this first page Sega design born for origin origin design and live to pursue the art of machine aesthetic so red dot design awards so they have tons of uh, design awards there and a sneak peek of that awesome looking watch with the tenacious features dare to be capricious what the hell is capricious i have no idea all right so <laughs> Uh, looking glass synthetic sapphire crystal nine on the mock scale what the what is it what is nine on the mock scale second only in hardness to diamond right okay so case back hardened mineral crystal full transparent design length 44 mil with 1844 mil including thickness 11.8 millimeters blah 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 and yeah let's you know what let's just take take oh okay so we have this what is this I think this one is a silicone strap, right? So quite a nice design there, and we have a two-piece NATO strap, right? So and this is the watch. Get your watch ready. Take out the watch head. Wind the crown clockwise for 30 forward turns. Set up time. Install the strap to the watch head, and turn the next page for a detailed user manual, right? So where is the user manual? Ha! Ah, okay, that's that's nice. Oh wow, this is quick, thick, thick one. Right, step one, winding. Step two, set the time. Step three, install the strap to the watch head, right? Anyway, so we all know how to do this, right? So yeah, let's just put it back inside the sleeve and let's talk about the watch itself, right? So this is it, guys. Sega Design Gorilla. Oh my god. Sega Design Gorilla uh, Series Gorilla Orange, right? So, um, I can't really remember how much these things cost maybe 200 to 250 dollars of course we will I will get the, all the facts and figures during the uh, full review but check out that oh my how do how do you tell time on this one <laughs> that is the first thing that comes out to my mind when I first saw this one on Mr. Juan uh, Riz and yep we have that suspension thingy all right suspension thingy so if you guys have any uh, if you wear this and it somehow um, you've got to bang it on something maybe this would save the watch I'm not really sure but yeah still it's quite interesting to have that feature on a watch right so sapphire crystal on the front mineral crystal at the back 
and yeah check the you know what the main major attraction of this particular clip is is of course that there is no dial on it right so everything that you see is a movement i think this is a seagull movement but a modified version of that so i have no idea which seagull movement are we talking about but yeah awesome awesome looking design here right so <laughs> it's crazy when i so 44 millimeters so they said is that this is a 44 millimeters so let's see from where right so maybe from this orange thing nope that is 45 mm, maybe on this black case is 44 41 okay so or maybe on this one right so yep that one is 44 so it's basically not the orange bit but the black bit right so on this side as well 41 yeah on this one on this side is actually 44 right so a thickness they say that the thickness is 12 millimeters right so bang on 12 millimeters a lot with i think this one is um 22 yep thank god is it it is 22 and the crown is wow massive 8.0 millimeters so yeah very very good all right so on the supply then you know what let's put on the uh supply black silicone strap with this beautiful pattern oh my god that looks interesting right so we're going to put it on the which one is to the bottom side <laughs> all right so this is the bottom side right so pvd coated watch guys i kind of i'm going tired of pvd coated uh, black pvd coated watch because yeah it when when it does scratch so it will leave quite a a you know what an un hideous uh, mark but yeah, uh, miss if it the coating is good so it will be really reliable for a long long time right so we check out that water guys Sega design customized movement um c oh zero one or is it cd uh, it's quite difficult to read from behind the camera i think it's co uh, co zero one i have no idea what that is but yeah that looks absolutely awesome right so on this particular strap it weighs weighs at about so let's see at about no what let's just slot it in huh 95 grams so not that bad guys not that bad at all right so yeah you know what let's just bring on this uh, diamond selector to see if it does really have star, star, sapphire crystal on the front yep that's okay at the back mm, nope no no change so yeah that is definitely not a sapphire crystal at the back right so let's do a quick loom shot then so you know what let's just turn the power off and bring in my um right so this is mm, nothing interesting there but the interesting bit is this too you have to charge it a bit and see how does the loom perform right so where the heck is my swiss okay are you guys ready three two one boom <laughs> oh yeah check that out guys so we have a big big x loom on the skeleton skeleton nice uh, frame wow that looks interesting and on the oris yeah oh no no only on the hands seriously just give it a quick quick charge right so i think there is a loom loom area yep on the uh is uh, our indices but yeah that thing quickly disappears and yeah that's kind of disappointing but still this is i think it is considered as a vintage uh oris so you can't really you can't really blame Oris for that, right? So, there you have it, guys. My a uh, my unboxing or uh, just an initial review of this two awesome piece from uh, Juan, Mister, my buddy, Mister Juan, and of course, I will do a full review of this uh, watches soon. And yeah, please, if you guys uh, want to ask any questions whatsoever regarding these two pieces, so please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoy this video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye